Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I come before you, Heavenly Father, I worship, praise, adore, and magnify your holy name. Heavenly Father, I give praise, glory, honor, O oh God, and Heavenly Father, that belong unto you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, and Heavenly Father, I call upon the King. God, your mercy and your grace. Heavenly Father, thou art Lord, thou art God, as I stand before you. I ask you, Lord God, to clothe us, O God, in your robe of righteousness. Clothe us, Heavenly Father, in your robe of holiness. Your people of God, Heavenly Father, clothe us, I pray this day, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray right now in Jesus' name, Father of life, that you will clothe us in your life, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, by your power, I pray, Lord God, of hope that you will come forth in your righteousness your glory in and through your people. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I come before thee this day, Lord God, I magnify and I declare, O God, Heavenly Father, that our God reigns. I declare that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel is still seated on the throne, O God, that he's still, O God, operating in the lives of men and women, that he's still out, O God, to work everything that the enemy means for bad, that you, Lord God of hosts, will still bring it together for good. Father, I thank you that you said in your word that your thoughts towards us, O God, that there's for good and not for evil, O God, to bring us to an expected end and to give us good success. Heavenly Father, this day I do not just speak success upon the people of God. I speak good success, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, because we know that the enemy, oh God, brings success, but he can sometimes bring bad and evil success to wicked and evil people. But Lord God, you bring good success to your righteous and to your holy people. Oh God, that brings forth your goodness and your life, that man may see our good works and glorify you, Lord God, which art in heaven. Heavenly Father, I thank you because every good and perfect gift you said coming down from the Father of life. Heavenly Father, this day I pray right now that you will cause good gifts to come down to the sand, O oh God, from the heavenly glory, O oh God, heavenly Graham, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray this day that the angels of God will excel in strength. That, oh God, the gifts that they are bearing for the people of God will be delivered into the people of God's hand this day. Heavenly Father, may we not be found wanting. May we not be found weak, in, oh God. Lest our angels also be weak, in, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. But send gifts to your strong men and women of God. Send gifts that will, oh God, that will reach, oh God, the earth and be placed, oh God, in this physical and earthly realm. Oh Lord, Lord God, by your angels this day, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, Creator of heaven and earth, I clear the air and the atmosphere from every demonic, oh God, infestation of diabolical demons, oh God, that are on assignment against, oh God, the, oh God, Heavenly Father, the kingdom of God that is against, oh God, oh God, and on assignment against the people of God. Father, this day, you that liveth and reigneth supreme, oh God, I pray that you'll show forth your might and your power, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you, oh God that live it and rule it, oh God, heaven and Father. In you we live, we move, and we have our being. We are your creation called by your name. We are your people that serve you in spirit and in truth. Oh Lord God, cause your righteousness to shine forth like the daytime. Oh God, and your beauty to come forth, oh God, in the glory of your name to be magnified, oh God, in and among our lives, oh God. Father, this pray I pray, I pray that you will move us from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that the people of God will not suffer lack, will not suffer want this day, because you are our God and our provider. May we remain faithful unto you, because you are a faithful God. May we be truthful, O oh God, and heaven of Father, because you are the God of truth. May we show love, because you are a God of love. May we show love and kindness and mercy, because you are a God that's merciful, full of grace and love and kindness. O oh God, may we, O oh God, be like the Lord Jesus Christ and affect this earth. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I implore the hosts of heaven right now to fight against every host of darkness. Oh God, I mobilize, oh God, King Satan's kingdom. I put a halt to every work, oh God, and heaven of Father, that opposes the will of God. Oh God, and heaven of Father, in our lives right now, in Jesus' name, every diabolical sanction of Lucifer, I rebuke, I bind, and I nullify in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you that we are coming forth in our correct time and in our correct season, oh God, according to your calendar, Lord God of hosts. Father, I thank you that you are God, the Father, that brings promotion into 
our hands. Oh God, I thank you, oh God, never the Father, for the doors that you have opened and the doors you have opened and will open. I thank you for new opportunities that you've given, that you caused to spring up, heaven the Father. Oh God, I give praise and glory and honor. You say the new thing shall you do, shall we not know it? Shall we not see it? Father, we thank you that you are doing a new and a fresh in this new season in our lives, oh God, in our, oh God, ministry. Father, in, oh God, our families, Father, in every employment, oh God, in every area and in business right now, you are doing new, marvelous, oh God, never the Father, mighty and powerful and wonderful and marvelous things, and because you are marvelous and wonderful and beautiful, God, I give you praise, glory, and honor this day, oh Lord God, receive all your praise, glory, and honor, there's one to your holy name. Father, I come against every diabolical sanction. I come against every demonic personality that's at work on assignment from the enemy. I am mobilized now, so God, silence them right now. I declare that truth reigns in every though God lying tongue is still, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your kingdom come forth, your divine will, your divine power, divine destiny, Father, in the mighty name of Christ over, oh God, and in the lives of the people of God. And I thank you this day, Heavenly Father, for what you're doing in my life, in my family, in the lives of your people, and in their families and homes right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you because salvation belongs unto you, victory belongs unto you, glory belongs unto you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God is doing new things. You know, we need to understand the spiritual realm. Many times we see things happen in the lives of other people. The Bible said that every good gift and perfect gift come down from the Father of light. Anything that you see that's operating good comes from God in this in this realm. It comes from God from the heavens. Now, angels normally are sent to bring gifts to us. And many times the angels of God arrive empty. One time I was in a service and I remember this woman of God said that she saw the angels coming and she saw the angels descend and she saw them coming with vibes. But when they came, she said that she saw the angels with empty hands and the people started to clap. But people of God, I just like to clarify that when angels are descending and they're descending from gifts from God, your angel has to fight. Your angel has to come through the spirit realm. If you're not strong and strengthened in the Lord, because the angels of God excel in strength, but they excel in strength many times. Our faith and our way of life affects the strength of the angels. I want you to understand it. So let's say, for example, if your angels are descending with a gift from you and you'll find sinning or you'll find fornicating and you are weak at that moment and do not have on the arm of Christ, your angel is also exposed. And the gift that God was about to place into your hand that demons will actually intercept and take from the angel and put it in satanic or Satan people's hand. This is what's going on in the spiritual realm. People of God, sometimes God know you know God promise you things, but you have to walk in obedience. That's why God say be obedient. God wants to get the gifts that he have for you into your hand. He doesn't want it to be intercepted. He doesn't want his angels to have to fight to get through the dark realm. Remember people of God, you live a According to faith, you live according to obedience to God's word. Walk in grace, but not just in grace. Walk a be obedient servant. So when your angel comes to deliver things into your hand, your angel have a direct send. He's strong and he's strong because you are strong. Remember, we work interchangeably with the spirit realm. People of God, I need you to understand this. We work together with the spiritual realm. God has designed it that way. So people of God, lots of things in your life depends on you. It doesn't depend on the devil. It doesn't depend on God because God is always faithful. He never fails us. It's us who fail him. So people of God, let's strengthen ourselves. Let's walk each day, pick up our cross, follow Jesus and be strong in the Lord that we also may receive the things that the Father have for us. God bless you.